I felt good all week, um, but you know, first time off a mound in a game situation, there's always that concern, you know, you know. But I'm glad that that thought is is out of my head now, being able to go out there without any pain. I feel like you know I'm I'm ready to go. You know, whatever is. I think the only reason this was just because they wanted to keep me at home and you know, make sure everything was all right. So, but yeah, ready to see hitters. So of those three aforementioned pitchers, Bartolo Colon, John Neese, and Bobby Parnell, who's going to be the most instrumental when it comes to the Mets' success in 2014? What do you say we call on Mark Melusis and Sal Licata? They're here for double take tonight. They're going to weigh in on this very issue. How do you see it, fellas? Yeah, I think it's Parnell. I mean, honestly, I think when you look at it, the opportunity is there. I don't really trust anybody else that is in that bullpen. When you look at some of the retreads that they've brought in, the foreign's worst of the world, I think it's Bobby Parnell. You know, closers can go out there and derail a season. Bullpens can make okay teams good, can make good teams very good, and can make very good teams great. And you look at Bobby Pornell, he's got an opportunity here to become the mainstay, to become the closer for this team moving forward. To me, I think he's more important than the other two. No question about it. They need to be able to trust Bobby Pornell to close out games. Let's focus on John Neese for a second. I think this is a guy who has to take a next step, show that he can stay healthy and be a reliable left-handed guy yeah. in that starting rotation. And boy, wouldn't it be nice if he could face Ruben Tata and Ike Davis every day, blowing <laughs> those two guys away. But seriously, Neese is a good pitcher, Moose. He has to take that next step this year. I've always liked him. I think he could be consistent. He just has to stay healthy and go deeper in a game. Got to throw 200 innings yep. as well. Back to you. Back to the offense, fellas. And you did see David Wright earlier today. Homer off Bartolo Colon in that intra-squad game. And tomorrow he's making his official spring training debut. Terry Collins has not played the captain as of yet. Wanted to minimize his risk of injury and, of course, that dreaded, strained oblique. You know, Terry approached me, you know, even during the offseason, you know, and kind of told me that, you know, don't be surprised if spring training I slow you down, slow you down a little bit and, you know, push you back. If you want to peak um, around the start of the season, there's no need to, you know, try to get, um, you know, play a week straight and try to get, you know, 40 at bats, uh, you know, the second week of March. Across the diamond, as they say, the competition at first base, uh, not exactly heating up. Neither Ike Davis or Lucas Duda is healthy at the moment. Davis dealing with a calf strain. He is able to take some at bats, while Duda has been bothered by a hamstring. Unknown at the moment when either will play in a Grapefruit League game again.